Hello, hello everyone and welcome again to another Guild Wars 2 video. So I'm playing the game almost since it came out and my main character is a ranger and after so many years I still didn't get all the pets in the game. So I said to myself, hey man, why don't you make a video about, uh, about the location of all pets and same time fill up your collection. So in this video we're gonna check where we can find each ranger pet in Guild Wars 2, including the core game and the two expansions, Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire. Only the pets you can get by linking your account with Guild Wars 1 are not included and the name of those pets you can see right now on the screen. And just before we start I want to make few things clear. I know that most of the pets can be found in more than one location, but in this video I'm gonna show you only one possible. All the pets gonna be organized by families and we're gonna start with the core game and then go through the expansions. And to make the things even easier for you, I will put timestamps for each pet in the description below. So feel free to skip ahead and find exactly what you need. And like always, if this video helped you somehow, give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this or just help me grow my channel, hit the subscribe button. Okay, after all this, now it's time to get to work. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna start with the bear family and the first one gonna be the polar bear. Lucky for us, there is one in Holbrak on the south shore of Lake Moor nearby the Vista. The Artodox you can find in uh, Wayfarer foothills at the end of a small cave east of Vendrex Homestead Waypoint. If the black bear is not in your collection, go to the Blaze Ridge Steps and you can find one east of Terakarunda Waypoint. The next pet in our list is the brown bear and the brown bear is located in Jendaran fields. I don't know how I'm gonna pronounce the name of this waypoint, Talajin waypoint. I have no idea is it correct or not but just go south of it and you're gonna find the brown bear. The last pet from the bear family is a strange looking hairless bear named Morello. This pet you can find in Brisbane Wild 
in a small cave nearby Brillatine Waypoint. The first pet from the birds family that we will find gonna be the eagle. Just port to the gap waypoint in Kessex Hills and you will find one waiting for you there. The hog you can find in Iron Marches and I'm really sorry about that but I will not even try to pronounce the name of this waypoint. Just Port there and head northeast, and you will get this pet. The owl you can find next to the exile waypoint in Snowden Drifts. And to get the raven, go to Holbrook. And you'll find some ravens chilling in front of the ravens lodge. To get the alpine wolf, just go in the wolf lodge in Hobrak, then take the first stairs to the right and then again the stairs to the right and when you are outside you're gonna see the wolf staying in a small pen. The next pet is the fern hound and to get it just port to the upper common waypoint in the grove and head east. If you need a hyena, port to the Ogre Road waypoint in Fields of Ruin, head to the west and you're gonna see some hyenas in something like a small valley. Uh, If the Drake Hound is missing from your collection, port to Divinity's Rich Ruricton Waypoint. Jump from the wall if you have a glider, if not you have to find your way downstairs to the mansion and get your Drake Hound. Okay, now it's time for us to get the wolf. The thing with this pet is that it can be found only in the mists. So you have two opportunities here. Eternal Battlegrounds or Red Desert Borderland. In my case I took the Eternal Battlegrounds. Mm, you can find one wolf north of the supply camp in Umberglade Woods. And let's hope that uh, we will not encounter enemy players on the way.
Now let's check the Devourer family. In Guild Wars 2 you can acquire totally 3 of them. The Carrion Devourer you can find in Fireheart Rise, northeast of Keeper's Waypoint. Both Lushtail and Whiptail Devourers can be found in the Black Citadel, really close to Ruins of Rain Waypoint. For the Lushtail Devourer just head south and for the Whiptail you have to go a bit west. Ok, now let's check the drakes and the first pet from this family gonna be the ice drake. If you need one, port to the dark river waypoint in wayfarer foothills and you find one next to the river. The Marsh Drake can be found in Caldeum Forest. Just port to the Twilight Arbor Waypoint and go a bit south. The next drake in our list is the Reef Drake and this one can be found only in South Sun Cove. First, port to the Pearl Islet Waypoint and head west to the beach until you see a cave entrance on the right hand side. And if you didn't unlock this waypoint, the other way to get to South Sun Cove is through the Azura Gate in Lion's Arch. For the river drake, port to the Cerebot waypoint in Kessex Hills, then head to the waterfall, jump down and at the bottom of the waterfall you find your river drake. The last pet from this family is the Salamander Drake and you can find one in Blaze Ridge Steps. Port to the Brandview Waypoint, head south and next to the heart by the river you will find one.
For the Jaguar, you have two opportunities. One can be found in the mist, and the other one is in Brisbane Wilds, southwest of Ultra Metamagical's waypoint. Be careful if you're headed west. If you want to find the jungle stalker, port to the Glenners Cove waypoint in Caledon Forest and go to the north. For the links, port to the Snowdrift Heaven Waypoint in Snowden Drifts and just follow the road to the northeast. The Snow Leopard can be found in Hovrak, next to the Snow Leopard Lodge. So, for the Blue Moor, Go to the Blood Tide Coast and you can find one north of Storm Bluff Waypoint. The pink moor can be found in Ratasum. Just port to the research waypoint, which is on the lowest level of the city, and head to the north. If you need uh, the red moor, you can find one next to the apostate waypoint in Fireheart Rise. And finally, for the white moor, you have to go to Snowden Drifts and you can find one south of Torstved Homestead Waypoint. Okay guys, little by little we got to the piggies and now let's check where we can find the boar. There is one in Stairs of Devastation, north of Storm Pass Waypoint.
if the pick is missing from your collection, you can find one in Divinity's Reach, west of Cormier Waypoint. For the Simons, go to the Ratasum and you can find one west of Auxiliary Waypoint, which is located on the lowest level of the city. And for the Warhawk, go to the Esopla 2, port to the Mountbane Waypoint and head to the southwest. Now we have to find 3 spiders, and the first one gonna be the cave spider. Port to the pinnacle enclave waypoint in Loner's Pass, head to the east until you see a crypt entrance, and when you enter you find the cave spider. The forest spider can be found in Iron Marches, next to the Halion Waypoint. And the jungle spider can be found in Caledon Forest, west of Great Bane Heaven Waypoint. Okay, now let's check what do we have on the fish market. And the first pet here gonna be the shark. To find one, go to the Reco Trade Camp Waypoint in Kessex Hills, head to the north and dive into the lake and you'll find your shark waiting for you there. To find the red jellyfish, port to the barrier waypoint in Blood Tide Coast and head to the east. Both the blue jellyfish and the armored fish can be found in Lion's Arch, nearby the wreckage of the Bridge Maker Waypoint.
Okay guys, we are about to start with the pets from the first expansion, Heart of Thorns. And the first one gonna be the Fire Weaver. In this section of the video, I will not use a flying mount or a springer, but you have to make sure that you have unlocked gliding and bouncing mushrooms mastery. So, to get the Fire Weaver, port to the Shrouded Ruins waypoint in Veridad Brink, take the stairs to the west until you get to Dust Dancer Plateau. Use the bouncing mushroom and then climb the vine. At the end of it, you're gonna see a platform with the fire weaver there. To get the Bristol back, you will not have a lot of trouble. Port to the East Watch Waypoint in Auric Basin and head south to Whipping Glade. The smoke scale can be found in two different locations in Tangle Depths, but I prefer the one which is southeast of the Scar Camp Waypoint. If the pet is not there, just wait a bit and complete the chain of events in that area. In the last event you have to protect a cannon, and if you complete the event successfully, you will see the smoke scale spawning next to it. The tiger can be found in Dragon Stand, south of the Vista at Northern Barbet Gate.
And finally, the electric weaver also can be found in Dragon Stand, nearby the central advance camp waypoint. Now let's check where we can find all the pets from the second expansion Path of Fire. And the first one gonna be the Sand Lion, which can be found in Crystal Oasis, a bit north of Shattered Templar Poi. If you need the Iboga, you have to go to Desert Highlands and you can find one south of High Jump Ranch Waypoint. For the cheetah, first get to Elon Riverlands. And this pet can be found in a cave northeast of Dragonheart. Once you are in the cave, first head to the east and then to the south.
the rock gazelle is located directly above Joko Domain waypoint in the desolation and to reach it you're gonna need a springer The Jacaranda can be found in Domain of Vabi, in the northeast portion of the glowing overlook area. <laughs> 